Bull's got his head down. He's going to get his head up. He's going to take him anyway. That's why I wanted to get his head up. Boy, oh boy. That became a five-second example of why you may not want to become a bull rider. Doze you down. Did his best to take down Vieira. Yeah, and I, going back to the shoot procedure, he wanted to get that bull's head up. And when he, when a bull's got his head down like this, he can't see clearly how to get out of there. So when he takes that first jump, he's a little bit lost himself. Runs him right back into that shoot right there. Man, that's scary. Hung up as the U.S. Border Patrol Protection Team goes into work and takes a shot there as well. Did you see how quick he just got up? I was going to say, we don't like anything about anything that happened in that from the way the buck off happened to the hang up, but him getting up quickly is the only good to come from that. We, we've made a lot of references to other sports already here today, but there is not an athlete alive outside of the sport of bull riding that could have bounced up the way Paulo just did after all of that. Good. Come on, Taylor Allen. Oh, no. Oh. See our U.S. Border Patrol bullfighters out there quickly. Our sports medicine team immediately to Taylor. Attend to the young 19-year-old. Oh! Wow. wow! You don't see that every day in bull riding. Early touch, kick straight to the top of the chutes, and uh, right over the top goes Batista. I think that's worth watching one more time, guys. I don't know if he ever wants to see this again. Watch this landing. We talk about how big and strong this bull is and Whoa. just catapults Batista <laughs> into a not-so-sensitive landing area. And I think people have to keep in mind he's still a really, really young guy. And that's why you oh see... Oh, my gosh! I don't mean to over exclaim you, my friend, but let's talk not only about the first move from top dollar, but the finishing move, which stuck Tate Pohlmeyer to steal like Velcro. Now watch how long he holds to the back of the chute and it pulls him back, rips him up. This is what caught my attention. I <laughs> know it was. Wow. Good job kind of hanging on to it, though. Oh, no. Fetosa does find the whistle, but scary moments as he gets hung up. So good to see him on his feet. And now Carolina can take a deep breath and cheer because they are back on the board. That was a that was a great bull ride right there. That bull wasn't the easiest one to get by because he had some good he had some good jumps there, then he had some uh, out of timing yeah. jumps. Yeah, but here's where it gets scary here. I mean, you talk about when this bull changes directions and what a Cool vantage point from right down there on the dirt next to the bullfighter. Come on, Bob. This bull's never been Flipped, tossed, and turned. Mitchell trying to become the first man to ever ride that bull. It doesn't happen, but based on his two bull total, he still stays in the overall lead. Probably still going to make it back to that championship round, but all the bull riders in the locker room just put a star next to Rank Frank because this bull is everything but nice. I mean, there's a lot going on. The lateral movement finally pulls Bob down. <laughs> like you said, I mean, pretty much put him in a washing machine. Jerked him around, hit him a couple times, ran him over at the end to end it. That's a tough one to get by. So here is his re-ride. Can he recover? Whoa! Punishment coming! Punishment coming! And that bull is a veteran. 
that has done that in our Sanford Health sports medicine team quickly there to lend a hand and he is in good hands trust me look at that took a shot one two three four the lucky thing for him is Lemmy hadn't been riding well right. until this weekend oh it went from bad to worse and after all of it Andrew Alvidrez sets his chin and stares down sweetness. Really glad to see him up. I know Alvidrez fans are too, and because that was that was a wreck right there. Timing just a little bit off, little top heavy feet are gonna fly up behind him. Now he's hung to him, and, and the worst part is he's lost his feet, so he's down underneath of him getting stomped on it. Yeah, he just supermans it right there. Wow! Oh no! Oh. The slams, the hits, they keep on coming. Luke highlighted the injuries, the attrition that Olsen has faced in his career and now takes not one, two, but three and more hits. We have talked since day one about the toughness of this Texas Rattlers team from top to bottom. And you saw Brady Olsen kind of shake off. Got in Austin two weeks ago in his leg. Don't do it! Come on, come on. Don't do it! 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 Get out of there! There you go! There you go! There you go! Oh! Oh! You okay? You just heard Brancuno highlighting that he's riding with stitches in his leg, comes right back out, takes a couple shots, but had all the effort in the world. Buck off time here, 7 and 46. The injury update we got earlier this week was Court McFadden was questionable. Colt Hevelo needs to work to get there. Oh. Sock Monkey tried Hevelo on for size, and the Bull liked it a lot. Hevelo, not so much. No, and, and we've gotten to see several examples today of guys getting to the end of their riding arm, their upper body being back, and the result of that. Now, the Hevelo come out of this smelling like a rose. Takes that shot, flips around, still sticks to the landing somehow. If he gets a ride here, he'll be closer to 90 than yes. he will to 83. Good to just see him safe, or at least safe-ish. As the bullfighters clear the dirt, but clearly Dalton Castle took a blow. And this is just eerily similar to our world number one, Jose Vitor Leme, last week. Joao Ricardo Vieira.